portobello mushrooms. He's obviously seen me cut things in half <laughs> before. <laughs> we had a guy one time came on the show, <clears throat> excuse me, and he brought cooked sausages. Oh, really? To a barbecue show. Go figure. And you bring cut bread. Oh, they were already cut. That's very funny. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. I got those from the restaurant. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know we'd done that. <laughs> I thought he was saying that I can't even cut them straight. <laughs> you can cut these, Murray. They're already cut. Portobello mushrooms. I've Portobello. Taken the, I've taken the stem off. Yes. And then we're, we're just we're going to take a spoon and scrape out. Why? The gills. Why? Because they burn. Really? And they don't really add anything to the portobello. They make it a little bit easier for us to eat as well. You just know like what? that. 40 years, I've owned restaurants. I didn't know that. So all you kids at home, you hang around this guy. Look at what we're learning today. A few things. Now, I want to know if there's a difference in taste, because I've never done that, and this will be exciting. Doesn't matter you put pepper on this, though, eh? Correct. And the grill, OK. A little bit of soy. OK. For an slightly Asian. OK. A little bit of olive oil. Again, exactly the right amount. Well and measured. What? Do you want to pull that up here? That would be a sauce. little easier than you bend no, it down I'm enjoying it. That's OK. A little chili sauce. Looking for that hit of flavor. Chili. Let me see that. Wow. That is nice. Isn't that nice? Nice. Now, this is a uh, nice. <laughs> Whoa. Your chili has a bite. Yes, it does. Oh, my goodness. Again, what? these can marinate for half an hour. Marinate. An hour. Marinate. Marinate. I'm sorry, marinate. I keep saying it wrong on purpose. I know you do. And, and But we're going to be ready to go with this on the grill right now. I'm just going to put together a burger buddy for that, the lettuce, the tomato, and the onion. Uh, you can put burger. that on the grill right now. <laughs> A burger buddy. Burger buddy. Ain't he cute? All right. Hey, what's that spoon doing in there? Okay. Which side first? Does it matter? The top of the uh, top of the mushroom first. Correct. Great. And because you'd like to give it the same crisscross marks that you gave on the uh, steak on the perfect. Strip perfect. And would you like some of this marinade put on top? Yep. That's why Good. I left the spoon in there. I know. I know. I got it after I took the spoon out. You know, he's a little testy with me, isn't he? That's okay. He's only got five more minutes on the show, and then I'll get rid of him. Very nice, William Wallace. This smells fabulous. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Man, well, I may have him back, though. He's pretty good. Burger buddy. Burger buddy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Lettuce, tomato, and onion, the classic accompaniment to any burger. Now, we want to grill this very lightly. Oh, my... my uh... Oh. Cutting didn't go all the way through here. I, I thought I left that with your caring hands. <laughs> all right, Could all you right. lightly touch all that right, for right, me, please? Right. Lightly. Lightly. Lightly being the key word. <laughs> I don't do anything lightly. OK, William Wallace, this is looking pretty good. We're doing pretty good shape. That's been cooking now for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Correct. It's not going to be need much longer. You can flip it over any time. OK. The more you cook portobello mushrooms, mm -hmm. the firmer they become. So if you like something with a little bit less crunch to it, undercook the portobello mushroom. If you want something a little bit firmer, keep cooking it a little bit longer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this guy's good. I bet those uh, buns are toasted now. You're wrong. Well. Wow. Not quite. I'm all the way over here, away from the <laughs> grill, so. I got to know something, William Wallace. There we go. OK, I've given it a turn. Now I'm going to flip it. Ooh. Oh, William, William, Ooh, are those grill marks? Very nice. Remember how you were exercising down there? Well, right. I do my uh, exercise. Outside, up top. Yep. I'm just going to grab a plate. Why don't you grab a plate, William? OK, I'd say that's toasted enough. Plate. Very nice. Plate, 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 plate. plate. Put our burger plate, plate, buddy plate, plate, right plate, there. Plate. Sounds like a hockey game, doesn't it? A little bit, yes. Yeah, too bad. We're all Jones, and I know. We're all missing that, aren't we? OK, here we go. She's coming off. Look at that. Where would you like it, sir? Right, right on there. Other way around. Other way around. Those beautiful so grill marks to show. Marks. Absolutely. Yes. Isn't now, that nice? we're just going to put a little bit of very simple greens with that. Nothing too fancy fancy. No. Nope. Just a little bit of oil over the top. We're trying to lose a little bit Diet. of oil, you Diet. and I. And so with that, a little bit of lemon Great. and the oil. Great. It's a nice light dressing. Well, that is nice. Good for us. Good for you. And me. And that's what you'd want. If you're having a portobello mushroom, obviously, you're thinking a little bit about your weight, or you're a vegetarian. Sure enough. So this makes a lot of sense doing that. And surprisingly enough, it's amazing how meaty this mushroom is. It's very, its texture is very, very similar. 
we're soon gonna see. We'll be right back.